Hello and welcome to this MakerBot Mini tutorial. I thought I'd make this tutorial to give people a hand with their MakerBot Mini when they get a um, filament jam in their smart extruder head. As you can see the MakerBot Mini is comprised of many little clips on the extruder. I'm going to grab this screwdriver kit here and just use the flathead attachment on it just to help get the clips undone. So I don't damage the unit, I don't want to force anything. As you can see the clips are nice and easy to pull and or take out. As I do undo them with the flathead it just comes off straight away. I've actually managed to jam this unit about two to three times in its use over the past four or five months. Um, I did go looking for tutorials, I didn't find any really handy ones. So I decided to make this one, just a quick little one. As you can see, I'm pointing out the extruder head itself. Don't do it when it's hot because it's going to be at 219 degrees and you'll burn yourself. So you just want to be a bit wary of that. Um, the extruder head does jam a little bit, not a lot. Um, it's easy enough to unjam, as you can see here. I'm just very carefully undoing it and trying to pull it apart. I forgot to remove one of the capping pieces there. You need to remove that first before I'm doing the next set of clips. But as you can see I'm just carefully undoing each of the clips here. Now there is also an internal spring that you need to be careful of that will jump out if you just pull it apart. It happened to me the first time. It took me about 30 minutes or so to work out where it went. So I'll actually show you where it goes so if it does happen to you you'll know exactly where to put it back. Um, it does take a little bit of force, but not a lot. It should just unclip all. And as you can see now, I'm going to be a bit more careful when I'm opening it. As you can see, I'm just very carefully jimmying it open. I'm not actually applying a lot of force here. I'm just undoing each of the clips. Because I don't want that spring to jump out at me when I open it. Which is a big issue. There's also magnets on it, so if you're using a metal screwdriver, it is a bit tricky because the magnets are quite strong on it and will attract the screwdriver itself. As you can see, I'm just pointing out the spring there, or one of the springs that will jump out if you're not careful. That's to the release mechanism on the filament. As you can see, I'm just putting my thumb on the actual extruder itself, the heating component, so it doesn't fly off. As you can see, I'm just pulling out parts. That's actually the gear that grabs the filament. And that part that you just saw flying is the spring I was talking about. So as you can see, I just put it down. And there's the um, jam that was causing me hassle. So I take that out carefully. And I'll now show you where this unit goes back in. So that little spring part actually goes back in to the top part of the assembly right there it slots into a little hole and everything and should sit neatly in there as you can see next step is putting in the um, gear now I didn't realize but it actually had a little cog that slipped out of the way so that goes on first and then that slips in that actually catches your filament when you feed it in the next part just slots on and the actual smart extruder, the heating component, clips in. It's a little hard to tell, but it actually will clip into place. You can see little grooves there. And they'll actually slot into the grooves. It takes a little bit of finicking, but you can get it. Just be gentle with it. Don't force anything. And once you have it, it will just all clip back together. You just want to make sure those clips do clip in, so you don't have it randomly come undone on you when you're doing your print job. As you can see, I'm just double checking, making sure everything is clipped in, which is what you want to do. Yep. And next is putting on the um, cap thing. I don't actually know what it does. I think it's just another way that you can feed in filament. Then you clip in the last two segments and then the last part there. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment. Have a nice day.